So here's a quick video about why speeding is stupid. And this is not just an opinion. I'm gonna use a little bit of math and a little bit of real repeatable evidence to back this stuff up. So you might think that if you're running late for work and you got this uh, commute, whether it's like two miles or 10 miles, let's say you woke up late, you didn't get your, your stuff together and you're running late, you got to speed to get to work so you can get there faster. That's a very common uh, myth and it's just not true. And here's why. First, we're going to start with some probabilities. If you have a coin, you can get either heads or tails. So the probability of getting either one of those the first time you flip a coin is going to be 1 and 2 or 50-50. If you flip a coin twice and try to get tails twice in a row, the odds are 1 and 4 and then it just multiplies down the line every time. So the, the odds of you hit flipping a coin and hitting tails 10 times in a row is, is nearly impossible. It's 1 in 1024 or it's a 0.0009% chance that you're going to do that. We'll call those odds mathematically insignificant. Now, a stoplight is a lot like a coin in that way, where a stop sign, or I'm sorry, a stop light can have two possible outcomes. You can either stop or you can go. Yes, they have three colors, but two of those colors, yellow and red, mean stop. So the odds that you hit in your first light green is one in two. The odds that you hit in two lights in a row green is going to be one in four. And those are for randomly timed stoplights in a random city. So the odds of you hitting 10 stoplights in a row is the same odds mathematically of you flipping a coin 10 times in a row and getting tails every time. So if you're going on a, uh, let's say just a random 10 mile drive that has 10 stoplights and uh, you're running late, you might think that you can get faster to work if you just speed and maybe you'll catch green lights or something. In Arizona and in Phoenix in particular, we have these sensors all over our stoplights up here that kind of make it hard for you to catch green lights if you're speeding. Notice, I'm gonna hit a lot of green lights in this video and this is not by accident. This is because I've learned to watch the stoplights and I've learned to read the timers on the crosswalks and find out where in this light's green cycle that I am. So if you only have odds of hitting all green lights that are one in 1,024, the odds of you trying to speed and get to work faster are pretty ridiculous because the only way you will actually get there faster is if you only hit green lights. If you speed on your way to work and you're trying to go 20% faster, let's say you're trying to go 60 instead of 45, your maximum possible time you can get to work earlier on a 10 mile drive is like a couple minutes, maybe. I don't know what situation in real life that you're really going to risk your life or a three or four hundred dollar speeding ticket just to get there two minutes early. But the problem is not that you're going too slow. The problem is that you're not organized and you don't have your shit together. If you think you're going to speed to work and get there quicker, you're wrong. I'm sorry. You're just wrong in Phoenix. It's not going to happen. Notice there's a lot of people up there in front of me. I don't even know if you can see them on this camera because of the wide angle lens. There's a lot of people up there that keep speeding off to the next light and stopping at every red light. Meanwhile, I'm not stopping at all. I'm just cruising through these lights non-stop. Now the odds of me hitting as many green lights as I have are extremely low right now, but I can do this every single time I drive and hit only green lights and I get somewhere quicker by not speeding. So if you're driving on a, a, a road and you think you got to speed to get there quicker, again that will only happen. It can only, it's only physically possible for that to happen if you hit only green lights. If you hit even one red light, all the time that you gained by speeding is then lost at that red light and you sit there and wait for the slower traffic to catch up to you, like everyone is doing now at this light. So just remember, take it easy. If you gotta go to the dollar store and get your little 88 cents notebook planner so you can plan out your day and make sure you got everything together so you know how to drive without having to rush, it's much better that way. Now nobody could possibly guarantee that you're gonna hit every green light on any road at any time. There's too many variables. There's green arrows, there's traffic patterns, and there's changes in the stoplights timing. There's a lot of factors that determine whether or not you get green lights or red lights. But in Arizona, you may be able to see this, you may not be in the camera, but up on top of that stoplight that's red right now, there's a bunch of little sensors and cameras and little gizmos. There's also little sensors on the ground. These things keep track of the patterns in traffic and they make notes of how many cars are coming through here at different times of day and they adjust the timing of the green lights to give people more green lights and longer green lights that are going the speed limit to keep traffic moving efficiently. Now this system is not very popular all over the United States but it is found in Europe and it's found in other parts of the world and we're very fortunate in Arizona to have this system. So don't try to fight this system by speeding. You're just going to waste gas, make it harder to stop, make it harder to avoid a crash, reduce your reaction time, 
make yourself extremely attractive to the police who love to write really expensive speeding tickets in Arizona. But you don't have to worry about any of those things if you just go the speed limit and you will hit more green lights. 